Hello, welcome to the house United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I'm going to be bringing you all the Sunday news concerning Manchester United. Everything Hag wants to sell six first team players in the summer, and the Manchester United players do not want Greenwood back. Let's talk about all the news concerning Manchester United. Manchester United are reportedly planning to sell six first team players this summer. The mirror says Everything Hag has already identified who he wants to cash in on at the end of the season in order to continue his rebuild. And these players include Harry Maguire, Scott McTominay, Anthony Marshall, Donny van der Beek, Alex Tellez, and Eric Berry. And most of the names here actually do make sense, but I don't see Donny van der Beek leaving um, in the summer because according to Everything Hag, he's going to be back in for the preseason. So you don't sell a player who is just back from a long-term injury. You don't sell him in the summer. So I feel... Tony van der Beek is going to be part of our next season and maybe he leaves um, in the summer of 2024. But for the rest players, I can see Maguire leaving because Maguire wouldn't want to be on the bench any longer. And as of now, he's never going to be a starting player for us except to have injuries in our centre defence. And Lindelof also, probably the last choice centre-back we have in the team right now and definitely would want to leave. Inter Milan, I think, came for him in the January transfer window but refused any transfer for him then because he, 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 those players are so important now. Everybody is on loan, but the loan isn't going to. And I, I fancy if he comes back, he's definitely going to be sold. Alex Tellers also do have to be sold. He's doing very well in Sevilla. Hopefully, Sevilla keeps him and he stays there the long term. And then, Scott McTominay has interest in him, of course. Newcastle are interested in him and some other Premier League clubs are interested in him. And definitely, those are the class of clubs he should be playing for, not for Manchester United. So, I hope, yeah, these players all live in the summer transfer window, except Tony van der Beek. We see have, um, I still have, I still, I still want him around, and I definitely think everything I would also want to keep him around for at least one more season. And for Anthony Marshall, I really don't want to talk about this too much. Too inconsistent, injury prone, not the type of striker we actually need when he cannot play for us that consistently. Missed 20 games already in this season, and it's just early February. So I think it's time for Anthony Marshall to go. I wish him the best, but I think I'm done with it. Except he can come back and give us 15 straight games without no injuries and perform really well, scoring really go, scoring goals. Then I can reconsider. But so for now, it's time for Anthony Marshall definitely to leave Manchester United. Yesterday, Eric Hag was asked about Manchester United appealing Casemiro's red card, and he said he's going to think about it. But the problem about appealing the red card is that if they appeal it and it is still found guilty of the offence, then it will be increased to four match ban instead of a three match ban. So I think we have to think about it very, very well to know what our options and to see if we can appeal the ban. But yeah, we know he's going to miss the next three games and we are prepared for that. And according to sources in the dressing room, Manchester United players do not want missing Greenwood in the dressing room this season because they fear it will disrupt their progress on the pitch. And of course, this wouldn't be all players in the squad. It would be divided maybe 50-50, 70-30, things like that. But I guess I understand where those players are coming from because, you know, if Greenwood is introduced back into the squad, um, then you see the reaction from the media, from the fans, especially when we play away, you see the away fans chanting um, kind of, um, many kinds of things against Greenwood and against Man- Manchester United and against the team. And that to weigh down the team mentally because of just one player. And of course, it's a very, very serious issue. So the media scrutiny and fan scrutiny Greenwood is going to attract um, to the team is going to have some of an effect on the squad. So I guess I see where the players are coming from. And it's just up to Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag, and the players and the sponsors and everybody to sit down and find what will be the best solution. Maybe uh, even if he's going to come back to the squad, it will be till next season. Let us finish the season on the high and see what and reassess the situation by the end of the season. And then maybe we can slowly introduce him with the preseason training and the rest. But it's all up to the club and let's see what happens. Why don't you click on that subscribe button and boop the like button on this video if you are enjoying the video so that this video can get out to as many Manchester United fans as possible. Manchester United will secure a contract extension for Alain Gianlo Ganacho in just a matter of days as reported in the Manchester Evening News. Uh, according to Spanish outlet AS, report that only image rights are left to be finalized before a full agreement is reached and issue both parties are confident we sort out very swiftly. And we know there have been speculations about his exit. Of course, we know that Manchester United would never let that happen. This contract extension is just about increasing his wages because we recently gave him a new contract last year. So now he's now a part of the first team. 
it's now about giving him um, increasing his salary to be more more substantial. I think we're about to increase it to about fifty thousand um, pounds per week, which is fine by me. But the Williams is on fifty thousand and he doesn't even play for us at all. So Ganacho needs to uh, his salary needs to be increased, and I'm glad we're going to get that over the line very soon, and he can go back to his football and really focus on improving as a young star at Manchester United. I'm sure we all love watching Manchester United play, but these fixtures are hectic, man. We have Leeds, Leeds, Barcelona, Leicester City, Barcelona, Newcastle, and Carabao Cup final. All these games are important, of course, but if we're out of the uh, Europa League against Barcelona, I won't be too worried about that. But we need the, the, our form in the Premier League to keep on going because we need to secure that uh, top three position in the Premier League. And also, we need to win against Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final. And that is when Casemiro is going to be back available for English competitions. But he's going to also be available, he's going to be available for the um, two legs against um, Barcelona, which is going to be very good for us. So in that final, he's going to be fit and ready to play in that final. So let's see how it goes. We trust everything. I have to always have a plan in every game. He wants to win every game. He wants to win every trophy. So Ten Hag definitely is already working on these games. And let's see how it all pans out. Don't forget to see that United, the one stop for every team Manchester United. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed. Leave a like on this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. And tell me, was that red card against Casemiro? Was this justified?